Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my idea and thinking on the in innovative uh, practice on physical activity and sport for the university uh, female student. Uh, this is the project that support and guide and also sponsor from the U.S. Department of State. Uh, this is one of the, the program that the U.S. Department of State uh, work on the Empower Women Blue Sport. And this is also run by the University of Tennessee in U.S. and run by the ESPNW. Do you know the channel ESPN for sport around the world? It's very famous. Yes, yes. Yeah, so now they have ESPNW uh, focused only uh, for female athletes uh, and girl and women. Um, every year, this program uh, recruits 15 um, female uh, around the world from 15 countries to choice the program, uh, Global Sport Mentoring Program. And I'm, I was lucky that uh, to, to select it, to be the delegate from this kind of program, Global Sport Mentoring Program. And in the picture, that is the activity that I learned uh, from the program. And uh, this is an in international leadership development initiative that recognizes only for female achievement in sport and aim to empower women to be ambassador of the chain for female athletes around the world. And this is based on the evidence that women and girls who are exposed to sport increase their chance of success both of the view and other area of their life. So through the, the physical activity and sport practice that I'm doing, uh, we would like to bring the choice, the happiness, and the well-being uh, to all girls and women, and also build the life skill, the movement skill, the confidence and body awareness, and create a social network for girls and women. And especially, environment in sport and physical activity it can positive change the gender norm and help girls and women move into the public. Um, moreover, physical activity and sport program that I'm doing uh, give the opportunity uh, to girls and women to close with the community around. So, ladies and gentlemen, the next is a video clip that, uh, that shows the story of women's life in the Asian country, and especially in Vietnam. So, please. So, lady, can you find out uh, your in the clip? You find out that? Yes, it's look the, the, the lady in the Asian country, especially in Vietnam also, and in Indonesia, we are very busy. We also go to work, like men, but we have to go, go back home uh, after work, hurry up to back home, and um, cooking, and waiting, uh, take care of children, and waiting husband um, back home after playing tennis, uh, enjoy with friends outside. Yeah, so um, this is the, the social cultural norm and constraint prevented the girl and woman uh, from being physical activity and living home and accompany are uh, being seen by men outside their family are at different the barriers uh, preventing girls and women active in the sport or physical activity. So uh, look at the slide that... Next, please. 
yeah, look at the slide, uh, we can see that the population of the Vietnam around uh, 96 million, and the women in Vietnam uh, have 50.5 percent, and uh, we have 60.8 percent of the the women from 15 to 94 years old uh, don't do any kind of exercise. So it's a very big amount of the Vietnamese uh, female. They don't enjoy any kind of physical activity. And in Ho Chi Minh City, it's my uh, hometown, I find out that uh, we have 50 university and we have uh, 200,000 and 63 are uh, female from 50 university in Ho Chi Minh City. So how many female students from 50 university don't do exercise? Next, please. Yeah, we can see that 77% of female uh, students don't do exercise compared with the male. This is so the big number that we, Vietnam government uh, and the Ministry of Education and Training need to think and support the female students do more physical activity and sport in the university. Come from the real situation in Vietnam, uh, we would like the sport and physical activity to become an education tool in the university and it's going to be the habit of the female student in the university to keep doing and to do for their long life. And the participant of the girl and woman in sport challenge the gender also based on the discrimination and therefore it can be a vehicle to promote gender equality and the empower girl and woman. And uh, the project also want to change the mindset of the female student, make them understand more about the behavior, uh, the value of exercise, and in the future, maybe they can send to uh, their husband that we can see in the clip that now it's my, my turn to go to play tennis and you are at home to take care of children. So the projects, um, the project that I'm doing now uh, to have the objective that to create health and well-being environment and also improve a quality of life to female students. And we also bring the, the joy and happy to female students to promote the gender equality and the empowerment of female students. And we also want to change the female student mind about sport and physical activity, not only for men and not only for high performance. And we also offer the easy, valuable exercise uh, for the, the, the student. So uh, we have uh, the, this is the, the practice that, you know, this is the example that I would like to bring to the female student. Please. During the, the, the assemble of the project, uh, we would like to make the series of video clip like the cartoon animation to bring the, to set up the image about the, the sport and physical activity to the female student. And they will, ah, oh, yes, the, the sport is very nice and very easy to play. It makes uh, the lives is happier or something like that. So I will make uh, the, the series of the clip uh, of admination like this one uh, to, to set up the image for the female student. You can see that this is a very good way uh, for the student to get the image and would love to do the same thing. Um, so, for example, um, when you go out, uh, you see, uh, for example, you see uh, the McDonald's, the McDonald's, the logo is the M. But when you see the M, you feel hungry. 
and when you see when you go out to see the Starbucks, but it's not not the coffee, only Starbucks. But you feel to want to drink one cup of coffee. So I I bring this kind of promotion to my project to make the series of video and make set up the image in the female student. So when they see the clip on the YouTube, on Facebook, on any kind of social network, they will, hey, I, I have to do like this girl in the clip. I have to do exercise or something like that. And the next, I would like to show you. Please, next. Yeah, this is the, uh, the, I mean, the, 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 the series of the video clip I also make in my university that because my university is a private university in Vietnam. Uh, two years ago, I worked in Vietnam. A lot of students from uh, provincial come to study. They don't know how to stand, stand in queue uh, to get in the lift and they don't know how to stand in queue in the canteen or something like that. So it's make very mess up that everyone look very crowded. So I think about I make this one, the, the video clip to teach them, and I put on the screen in the university and also in the classroom be, before the lecture come to the class, and then the student can look at that and do the same thing. So after one month, 10,000 students in my university stand in queue anywhere in the university. So please, look at that. They also know how to keep the space in the lift with a, lit, a lot of people. Yeah, and uh, the project, the first step, we make the series of the video clip like this to set the image to the female student. And then uh, we also organize uh, the sport day, the sport week, sport camp, a sport tour, or sport festival to, uh, to promote, inspire the student, come to choice uh, the sport that we are organizing. So this, this, this can help that the, the students have many choice to, to join in the activity, especially physical activity in the university. And this is uh, one of the projects that I, I did in uh, India the Osmania University in the Hyderabad, India. Uh, I organized the table tennis day for women at the College of Women. This college, they have uh, around 3,000 uh, female students study there. Uh, they have only um, PE, uh, physical education class, but it's like uh, the tradition, traditional PE. The student very boring, don't want to choice. So I talked to the head of the college and hold the table tennis day, and maybe for the next will be the other uh, sport, not only table tennis. Uh, I make like um, the table tennis day, I made the warm up with music. 
uh, dance, uh, look at the picture, they very enjoy it. I make the stretching with the music also. And also during the table tennis day, I do, uh, I, 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 I give them the, the knowledge about leadership skill for women also. Uh, and also like, uh, yeah, this is a practicing uh, about table tennis, some basis and concept of the table tennis practice. And uh, also teach them keep the practice and make it to become a good habit of life by sponsor them the equipment uh, like the racket, the ball, the net. So the project that I'm doing, I, I organize and uh, collaborate with a lot of uh, partner. So they, this is the grand sport, the company, very big company about the sport products in Thailand. So they sponsor for the student, the equipment to, to, to join in the, the table tennis uh, class. And then besides, it's not enough with you know the the table the the sport day the sport week or festival i also make like uh, the booklet uh, for example the table tennis day finished today but still keep remaining for the next in the future by the booklet uh, i i'm doing like this one teach them step by step to play table tennis or uh, for example if the other sport you can do the booklet uh, Taekwondo or Penka Silas uh, step by step, and then the student can understand about uh, the concept, the basic to, to practice, and they can practice at home, or they can practice together. And, and next, uh, I also use the the method that uh, we say the woman helping woman. Uh, I take the, the sport female student. Uh, for example, if in your university, we have the faculty of sport science. So uh, the, the female students study in the faculty of sport science gonna be uh, the, the sport leader of the other female student that's not study in sport. So I use the method that I take the sport leader to guide and to train and to promote the sport and physical activity to the other female student. So we say the woman helping woman. Uh, then I, I, I organize the workshop, the seminar uh, to take the sport female student to train the other one to be the leader in the physical activity in the university. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the next project that I will organize the next year that I get the fund uh, by the U.S. Department of State, Global Sport Mentoring Program, University of Tennessee, Bangkok Thomory University, my university, the Muay Thai Association of Thailand, Muay Thai Association of Vietnam, uh, U.S. Embassy in Vietnam, and a lot of sponsors by uh, sponsor, sponsorship partner. Uh, this project we say Muay Thai, She, Shape and Strong. Uh, this project uh, would like to, to bring, um, let I see, okay. So uh, the project during the Muay Thai, She, Shape and Strong, we also have many action. So the first action we would like to do, like the workshop on the women help women, like I, I taught before. So to bring the sport female student, train them, train them to be the leader of the physical activity. So for the action one, I train the Muay Thai, the skill on the leadership, and also train them the fundamental of sport science of Muay Thai for one group of students, 20 to 30 students. Uh, and I, I choose the university in Vietnam, we say Da Nang Sport University, uh, who um, the, the sports students that who have experience about the martial arts, maybe they are the, the Taekwondo or the Karate Do, uh, 
athlete or player. So they easy, easy to understand about the Muay Thai and easy to get the, the skill and the tactics of Muay Thai. And then follow, follow the method that, that, that I already doing. We make the series of the short animation video clip of Muay Thai for girl and woman. It is a good method to bring the Muay Thai to female students in Vietnam, like setting the image that I talked before, and the benefit and youthful of Muay Thai to the student, and, and then the clip to watch, follow, and support from the people who work in the sport public and driver sector, because it's very important when you want the other one understand what are you doing on the project, you need to show the method and the benefit of the project to the other one. So you can see that not only in Vietnam or Thailand, we have a lot of sport company. So why we don't tell them to join to be the partner of your project until the project is small one, not the Olympic game, not sea game, not Asian game, but the project only in the university. But if you can show that the benefit of the project to someone of the group, and then they will support you. This is very important to get the money, because if you do the project, you don't have money, you cannot do anything. So it's very important to set the image about the Muay Thai for girl and woman in Vietnam to, to get the private sector to belong with us. And then also the booklet of the Muay Thai we bring and we share to uh, all the students in the Da Nang Sport University in Vietnam. And then they can practice, they can follow, and they can do it at home. Sorry. Okay. And the next, after the group of the sport student gonna be the leader of the Muay Thai, the university in Vietnam need to uh, organize the club, the Muay Thai club for only women. So the club will promote and de develop, promote, inspire the student around, not only in the sport university, but maybe the other university around choice to, to do and practice the Muay Thai. And then, uh, after the club, we can train and a lot of female students around know about Muay Thai, know about uh, the practicing, the benefit from Muay Thai to their life. They're going to be uh, the leader of this kind of project to the other one, the community around Vietnam. So we, we the faculty of sport science at the University of Sport can organize the court to the community. And for the su sustainable strategies for my project, uh, the Muay Thai Shi Shape and Strong project need to focus on the school, from elementary school to high school in Vietnam, to, to put the Muay Thai. Or if you do the other project, it's maybe not Muay Thai, but the other uh, the other sport, but the school is going to be developed because the, the girl and the children there is the generation of your project. So this is sustainable. If not, the project will stop it and not continue. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, the Muay Thai she safe and strong in Vietnam is this possible that we can do Bencasila, Shishep, and Strong in Indonesia, especially in your university? Do you think so? Who want to go on a choice with my project? Raise your hand. Okay, so uh, next year, the Muay Thai in Vietnam and Bencasila in the University of Nigeria, Malang, I will talk to the U.S. Department of State, and we can make the proposal, get the fund, and we can do. And the female student in the university here 
where we're happy, joyous, and you know one more kind of sport, and this is the national, I mean the nation sport, the traditional sport of your country, and you will be proud of that you present the Bengasila to the other female. Is this correct? Yep. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the, the last uh, video clip that I would like to, to show you that the totally of the project uh, from the beginning to uh, the end, what the project talking about. So please. You can see that the, the PE is been the sport student lead the other one joy to the physical activity. Yeah, the success of every woman should be the inspiration to another. We should raise each other up. Yeah, so through the project, I, will, I want to change the mindset of Vietnam and in Southeast Asia country so that the women can participate in sport and physical activity. And I want to show that sport and PE uh, can make a life of people is better. So this project creates happiness and well-being life and a social moment for the female students in the university. Besides, this project can contribute the increase in self-esteem, confidence, and uh, give the opportunity to the female to get in the social networking and also promoting the girl and woman to their community and the female can get gonna be the leader of their family and also the community. Uh, this is uh, a doctor in the picture, uh, Dr. Sarah. Uh, she is the chair of the Global Sport Mentoring Program that I worked last year with, with her. And the next is uh, Dr. Laura Button. Uh, she worked in the University of Connecticut in U.S. And he is Dr. Jennifer McGarry. Um, is both of them are my mentor. And I, I work in the University of Connecticut uh, around three weeks uh, to, do, to, to, to write out the proposal for the project. So uh, we, we would like to create an environment where people of own background and ability come together to change the world. So thank you so much for your listening.